Hi, this is Mato. This video is just a small clip from an awesome DVD called The King Hunt. I hope that you will enjoy it. This is a game between Richardson and Delma, played in 1885. Richardson started with e4. Delma played e5. Bishop to c4, knight to f6. Knight to f3, and play with the black pieces, capture the pawn on e4. Knight to c3, black to move. Knight takes on f2 was played. King takes on f2. Bishop to c5 check. d4. e takes on d4. Rook to e1 check. King to f8. Knight to e4 attacking the bishop. Bishop to b6. Queen to d3. d5. Queen to a3 check. King to g8. Bishop takes on d5. Queen takes on d5. White just lost the bishop. Was this a blunder? Oh, perhaps player with the white pieces had something in mind. Please pause and find the best move for white in this position. White rook would like to go to e8. It would be checkmate. But the knight is in the way. How to solve that problem? If knight goes to f6, pawn takes knight and black king goes to g7 after rook to e8 check. What would you do? Player with the white pieces played knight to f6 check. Pawn takes knight. And like I said, if rook to e8 check, then king to g7. Did player with the white pieces miss something in his calculations. No, he didn't. What did he have in mind? This is what he had in mind. Are you ready to see the move? This is the move. Queen to f8 check. What a move. What's going on? Black must take. And now comes bishop to h6, check, king to g8, rook to e8, check, mate. Absolutely amazing, isn't it? In this combination, player with the white pieces calculated until checkmate. But it was all forced. Would you like to see more games? like this one. And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. Please click on the link below the video and start sharpening your king hunting skills. Bye for now.